All right, everyone, Donald Trump is trolling again, which it's good to see him doing this more because at the very least, even if like hell breaks loose and the country started collapsing tomorrow, at least things would be funny. In all honesty, that was sort of the, the shine of the Obama presidency, except that in his case, it was more, he was like the relaxing sort of fatherly presidential figure for a lot of people, which was like cheesy as fuck, but I guess it helped, helped them through a tough economic time. With Trump, it's more like, let's break all the toys, like fuck it, let's have a tantrum and shit, and it's kind of amusing to see what's happening, because people having the tantrum are the ones that don't, I think, get the joke. That's really the problem for them. Uh, he decided to go after the Bushes again. Now, I, I'm not sure poking the bear with Barbara Bush is the wisest decision. Um, his core fans obviously aren't going to care, but when he gets into it with some, you know, a deceased old woman, <laughs> it's a little bit out there. But it's very funny because he's basically trolling Jeb <laughs> with, with his statement. He's like, uh, I hear that Barbara Bush didn't say nice things about me, but, you know, probably she should because, you know, look at what I did to her sons. Now, I'm not sure uh, why he said sons, and I'm assuming that's just to draw more attention to it. Because Jeb Bush is the, you know, he obviously completely destroyed him. He literally vampirized virtually all of what would have been Jeb's voters. Uh, by the time that he hit South Carolina, Jeb's idea was that he would come in in the top three in the first three states, but he would win South Carolina, and that would put together a map for him where he'd have some support in, like, the Rust Belt maybe, but ultimately he'd gobble up the South until Super Tuesday in a crowded race. He would therefore boost himself up and he would become the main candidate to beat. Uh, and then from then on, it would be a springboard to becoming the nominee. What ended up actually happening is that he didn't even place in the first two states. And then he came in third in the state that he really needed to win. And he said another big mistake that he made was coming out and admitting that that was what he needed to, from the get-go. Like Jeb said, well, yeah, our goal is, is what was it, a 3-2-1 a thing? Like, we're going to come in, like, in the top three in Iowa. I want to come in the top two in New Hampshire. Then I want to win South Carolina. That would show I'm the main candidate going to Nevada as the mainline sort of neocon. He probably would have won uh, Nevada if it hadn't been for Trump. Yeah, he probably would have won. Uh, you could have made a, a case for Ben Carson if he were surging at the time, which would have been legendary. That would have been really funny. He's funny because he's a sleepy man uh, and because he's, you know, basically massively rich and has pictures of himself with Jesus all over his house and weird shit like that. I'm just trying to imagine going to like fucking uh, his birthday party and how funny that would be. Um, but basically, he's trolling Barbara Bush, which is, okay, she's dead. It's a little bit different. She never caused a war. She was the only smart Bush. But beating up on Jeb is always a good decision. And it's really funny because Jeb still comes out once in a while and he pretends to be politically relevant like he's not the republican version of brian griffin minus a few iq points and that's really what it boils down to jeb continues to try to antagonize trump uh that's a bad idea the bushes are an out family at this point they're no longer dynastically politically connected uh they have deep state connections but then that's any half a dozen families from dc anyway basically Jeb doesn't have any fucking power. What what position has he held and does he hold now? He's been in politics, state-level politics before. He was Florida's governor, I think, right? Or something like that. It's funny, the Bushes have had political power in like three or four different states in relatively recent history, and they've always fucked it up. They're a bunch of fuck-ups, and not because they're not intelligent. That's just a shtick that they put on. I think Jeb might be the only Bush that's truly unintelligent. Like with W, he was actually quite, he was uh, very, very smart. He knew to play dumb. When he would do something wrong, therefore, people would look at him like a puppy that just peed on the floor instead of wanting to kick his ass. It's basically what he pulled off, but with Jeb, he's so cringy, it's like, I don't know that it's an act. Maybe. He, he pulls it off better than his brother did, if that's true, because it's definitely more believable. <clears throat> Herbert Walker never did that. Herbert Walker was just a sad sack anyway. With him, he puked on the Japanese prime minister once. Can't remember. I think some people claim it's because he ate sushi and didn't just, uh, agree with him, and others say, well, he was sick anyway. And didn't he, like, pass out immediately afterwards? And it was like a potential, like a big incident and shit. And like, I think a lot of people didn't know until the next day. And like, they were like, oh shit, the president, you know, maybe he's dying. Maybe he got poisoned or something. Turns out he just doesn't like sushi. You know, back then it was still an exotic food. Now you can get in the supermarket. I remember like back in the early 90s and stuff, sushi, what the fuck is that? 
Raw fish? Are you nuts? Uh, no, give me fish sticks. I'm an American, goddammit. Give me a fish fillet. Uh, Trump trolling, though, is, is a welcome relief, because for a while there, you didn't hear as much from Trump. I think part of that was by design. I think that he realized he needed to be quiet for a while and sort of disappear, let people sort of strangulate themselves and generate a whole new era of weird shit that he can troll. And he, it's successful, because then they scented blood, they came out to attack him, they figured, well, he's done, he's going silent and shit, he's maintaining this radio silence for a reason, and he, he sort of rope-a-doped them so that they would attack him and give him another reason to defend himself, literally, which is what he's doing with Jeb, although not so much Barbara. And it is very funny because she did say, like, like crazy shit about him in her book. Oh, my goodness, he basically caused my heart attack. I left the Republican Party because of him. It's like, no, the Republican Party left the bushes behind. It decided to grow up and get out of its diapers. It decided, hey, maybe we should try a tax cut this time that doesn't just favor the corporations. Maybe the middle class and working class do need tax relief. Maybe we should get fucking serious about the ACA mandate. Maybe we should do something about that. Maybe we shouldn't constantly provoke wars like the Bushes always do. Jeb can't name a country he doesn't want to invade. He'd probably name countries that don't exist. I, I want to invade Yugoslavia. So, oh, that doesn't exist anymore. Well, sad. Well, the countries that used to comprise it better beware. They're on notice now because Jeb's in charge. I want to be cowboy like daddy and like little brother and stuff like that. I think, is is W the little brother? I mean, not not in stature. I know Jeb is at least reasonably tall. That was the other funny part with his cringiness. Uh, remember when they were taking like the photo there and he like craned himself up on his tippy toes so that he would be, you know, a little taller? Because I think he's six feet, but Trump is and is like 6'2". I think like Rand and Cruz are fairly short and Rubio. Uh, Rand is, is only like 5'6 or something, actually. He's, he's a rather short, short dude. Uh, but I mean, it's just funny all over. Poor Jeb. Poor Jeb, he doesn't even have to run to uh, not catch a break. But the thing is, then, he should shut up. He's not going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trump. He couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a 10-year-old, uh, you know, from a, their elementary school debate team. Jeb Bush would lose every time, and then he would have his magical turtle to protect him, and it wouldn't work. That's about all. Peace out.